Avignon is one of the most fascinating and historic towns in France, and is a vibrant place that is bustling with history and culture. It boasts a large number of historic monuments, including the magnificent Palais de Pape and the famous bridge, the Pont saint benezet In addition to its grand architecture and monuments that transport visitors back to the past, it has some fantastic art museums and gorgeous squares to discover. As well as all the history, it also has a lively, modern feel with lots of great shops, bars, and restaurants. Before we get into the top 10 things to do in Avignon, we've included links in the description to various discount codes and links to resources of things to do, so make sure you check those out. At number 10 is the Old City of Avignon. The historic center of Avignon is still surrounded by ramparts dating from the 14th century, and at 4 kilometers long, they are equipped with 7 doors to the city and 39 towers. Visitors can enjoy walking through the old center of Avignon and wandering around cobbled stone streets filled with historic buildings. Number 9 is Pont d'Avignon saint Benezet Bridge saint Benezet Bridge is one of Avignon's most iconic sites, though to call it a bridge may be slightly inaccurate, as much of it was washed away in the 17th century. Built in 1185, originally there were 22 arches, of which only 4 remain today. Visitors can learn all about the bridge's development and construction in the exhibition space, then see the chapel dedicated to its legendary founder, saint Benezet. A walk along what remains of this vital crossing point, which still stretches around 200 meters onto the water, gives unbeatable views of the Rhone and Avignon. At number 8 is Bartholas Island. Bartholas is one of the biggest river islands in France and is situated between the two branches of the Rhone. Many areas are devoted to leisure and relaxation, including a skate park, a soccer field, swimming pools, a lake, and a children's recreational center. The island is a great place to observe nature, with some of the island's banks home to shrews, badgers, and martens, and also hawks, grey herons, and cormorants. Visitors can use the free boat service or go by car across the Daladie Bridge. Number 7 is Avignon Cathedral. Avignon Cathedral is a beautiful Roman Catholic church located next to the Palais de Pape. The cathedral is a Romanesque building, constructed primarily in the second half of the 12th century. Visitors can admire its iconic bell tower, which is capped with a golden statue of the Virgin Mary on top of the spire. Inside the church, there are tombs of the Avignon popes, and heavy arches lead to the beautiful side chapels. At number 6 is Les Rochers des Dames. A gentle five-minute stroll up a small hill, and not far from the Pont d'Avignon, are the lovely gardens of the Rocher des Dames, an oasis of greenery overlooking the Rhone. Constructed in 1830, the garden is a perfect spot for a leisurely stroll, and offers breathtaking panoramic views of the region. It is also the location of a number of interesting fountains and sculptures. Number 5 is Musée Calvé. Open to the public for more than 200 years, the Calvé Museum was founded after a local doctor and collector, Esprit Calvé, donated his art, library, and cabinet of curiosities to the city of Avignon. The Calvé Museum today houses works of art from the 16th to 20th century and holds many collections. At number 4 is the Carthusians Monastery of Avignon. The Carthusian Monastery of Val de Benediction, located in Avignon, is an exceptional medieval site and classified as an ancient monument. Built in the 14th century by Pope Innocent VI, it was the largest Carthusian monastery during the Middle Ages. The site includes the church, the cardinal palace, three cloisters surrounded by 40 monk cells, the chapel, and lovely gardens. During the revolution, the monastery suffered terrible damage, but it has since been restored and visitors can wander around or take a guided tour. Number 3 is Pont du Gard Aqueduct. One of the most visited ancient monuments in France and a listed World Heritage Site by UNESCO, the Pont du Gard is located near Nîmes, Uzès, and Avignon. This magnificent site served as an aqueduct until the 6th century before becoming a toll gate in the Middle Ages, and finally a road bridge from the 18th to the 20th century. The Museum of Pont du Gard retraces the history of the aqueduct's construction and its contribution to the way of life during the Roman era. At number 2 is the Church of Saint Pierre. The Church of Saint Pierre is located right in the center of Avignon, in a cobbled square that bears the same name, the Place Saint Pierre, and a stone's throw from the Palace of the Popes. Saint Pierre is famous for its elaborate and flamboyant Gothic facade and its solid walnut doors. Visitors can see the beautiful gilded choir from the 1700s, Renaissance and Baroque paintings, as well as the 15th century relics of Saint Pierre de Luxembourg, with his actual cardinal's robes and hat. And at number one is the famous Palais de Pape. 
The Palace of the Popes is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and was built to accommodate the Popes, who came to Avignon from Rome, leading the city to adopt the name the City of Popes. One of the largest Gothic palaces in the world, it was built in the 14th century and towers over the town of Avignon. Visitors can explore the majestic halls and chapels, learn all about the life and work of the nine popes who called the palace home, and marvel at priceless murals and frescoes, which use innovative techniques to tell timeless stories. So that sums up our top 10 things to do in Avignon. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, and if you're new here, feel free to subscribe. Until next video, have a great day.